So what I want to show you today is how an individual who only has the use of one arm can fly fish and spin cast by using the Rexfly casting system. As you can see that the reel is actually mounted on your chest and you can pull out line, you can reel in line, and cast with that reel simply mounted on your chest. You know, I'm actually right-handed, but I just want to show you how, how I could do this if, if I was left-handed and could only use my left hand. See, I can strip in line, and I can cast back out line by letting that line slide through my fingers as I'm false casting. I mean, certainly it's going to take some practice, it's, but, but nothing's easy about only being able to use one arm. I just wanted to get people out and enjoy fly fishing. But with the Rex Fly, you know, one tip would be to use a bungee cord to uh, keep the reel on your chest because the Rex Fly is designed that whenever the rod is attached to the reel, it slides right off the chest. But this way, it would keep your reel securely attached to your chest. You can still reel, you can still strip out line, it doesn't interfere with anything. So here we've hooked a fish, so I went, went ahead and slid my rod back in on my reel and I'm just reeling from my chest. And I'll tell you, you can you can feel that fi that fish pull when it's when it's matted on your chest like that. You you get a good sensation of, you know, that fish fighting and, and frankly that's why we go fishing. So I'm able to really enjoy, you know, the, the thrill of catching that fish and having that, that fish pull against my body and my hand. Uh, as you can see here, I, I, I'm reeling, and I can palm the reel as well if that fish decides to, to take a big run. Now what I haven't figured out is, is how someone with one arm who's fishing alone is going to net a fish. So what I've had to do here is play out that fish, and when he's you know ready to be landed, I'm going to swing him onto the bank. You know, I'm going to gently just swing him onto the, uh, the mud and rocks here, so I can get control of this fish and get the hook out. So I've got my uh, gripper tool here which locks onto the lower jaw of that fish. That's a pretty nice brown. And that tool has a lanyard on it which I am going to attach or just hook onto the adjustment knob on my chest harness. It's the knob that allows me to adjust the uh, reel up and down and I just take the fly out and then I can get this fish back in the water pretty quickly with you know not much more trauma than if I'd been using a net. So what I also want to show you is how I would attach a spin cast reel to a fly rod. So this is just an inexpensive spin cast reel. It has a trigger actually in the front. It's a closed face spinning reel and by pulling the trigger and letting it go I can cast that line out there and reel it from my chest. Now unfortunately these spin cast reels have a real foot that's bigger than fly reel feet which are a uniform size so I did have to reshape that real foot a little bit but fortunately it's just made of plastic and took a Dremel tool to it. It wasn't too hard to reshape it to get it to fit the Rexfly adapter so someone who can who wants to bait fish or you know, fish an artificial lure can do that by using a fly rod and the Rexfly. So I hope this will encourage people to get out and go fishing.